and I might see if I can speed up obviously measured couple on the wrong size <laughs> snip them off off on my measurements obviously I did a lot of the prep work really late last night um, I had my puppy in with me Bentley who was going carroty I don't know why he's such a calm little thing and oh my goodness I think it's because my husband had got out some chicken that was left over and um, from dinner the night before and he'd left it out open so I think he knew that the chicken, the cooked chicken was in the kitchen and was kind of playing up wanting to um, have his dinner. He had to wait for me to finish in here though. Poor thing. That's that layer done. That's two sides done and then we've got this last one. Um, there we go and for this one I'm using contrast paper so it falls between the delightful Dijon and the um, lovely sorbet colours so just the same as before and these all measure see if I can find the one I wrote on these all measure Oh, if I could read my writing, it's going to be easier to do it this way. Eight. Eight point five by eight point five. I can see it now. So in comes your punch again. See, it's getting a lot of use today. And this is directional because you've got script on here. So make sure you are keeping aware of where the pattern is. Otherwise you'll have up, down, upside down script and that would never look pretty, would it? Because who would be the first person to come along and go, Oh, you've done that upside down. And you go, oh, I know. in this way and then you want the reverse side so the dotted side to be punched on this side now I'm not sure if on YouTube I can fast forward all these boring bits or if it has to be a fast forward of everything I'll have a play around and see what I can do because you really don't need to be watch, sitting there watching me punching, 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 do you? Unless you just want some real downtime and would like uh, some time to just be quiet and chill out then that's fine if you would like to just sit and watch. I don't have a problem with it if you don't. Right. And then these will go on these tabs here. And off we go. So again, you don't need one in the middle because we're going to be mounting the box on top. Each layer on top of each other so you won't see the middle bit. I love this um, colour, it's called Tip Top Talk and it fits in beautifully between uh, soft suede and um, 
Sahara sand it sort of falls in between the two really and it's a little bit warmer in colour as well it's beautiful there's a little part of me because every so every few years Stumping Up does a um, colour refresh so it looks at all of its colours again and decides if they're all okay you know if we're still on trend with everything or if they need to do a bit of a shuffle up of the colours and if they do a shuffle up I will really seriously hope that the shuffle up has um, tip top top in it I would love absolutely love to see that in the collection perhaps even finding its way into the neutrals who knows get glue on yourself don't worry just rub it off and it'll come off if you don't rub it off straight away you end up with um, a black gooey mess on your fingers it's not like PVA glue it doesn't just rub off clear But once it's fully dry, it does dry clear. Go figure. I'm not sure about that one. There's obviously some sort of chemistry behind it. Right. So for this side you want the dotty side to be the upside because it's going to be a contrast between those two yellow layers. And we're on the home stretch ladies. So you now bring in your other layers. And they each get stuck down in the middle like this. So you just want and you want the tip top top player in here. I found it easiest to sort of fold it up to centralize it to be sure I had everything in the right place and then give it a good rub it all comes together really quickly in the end and with a small layer I found it easier to glue the base of the flaps and then just centralise it up in the same way there we go and there, this is of your explosion box. And it is a look, I can get my whole fist in there. That is a super sized, super duper sized. You could put a small toy in there or a small gift. It would take a perfume, it would take candles, it would take so many things that you could actually put in the middle. So you've got your gift box and an explosion box. You think for a baby, you could have maybe a flannel and a little toy in the middle. And then as it opens, you could have um, baby grows die cut out using the um, one from Stamping Up. Have little baby grows on the flaps and you could really sort of make it your own. Right, so this then, your lid goes on over the top. It is a tight fit and it is intended to be a tight fitting lid because otherwise the flaps, believe me, would find their way out. There you 
Flower, one pretty box, and decorate it with a piece of the um, jute ribbon and just have a nice big bow. Well, it's not a bow, it's just a knot on the top. And then I decorated it using one of the um, honeycomb embellishments that's in the current seasonal catalogue. Um, and Just wondering what colour to go for. I think I might go for this one, which I think, yeah, it's mint macaron. And it'll be a bit of a contrast. So let's pop that over that side, take the backing off, and then you can tease this side over. And then what I find is just poke your bone folder in in a couple of places just to fix that glue down. That's there. And then I've got a piece of um, shimmery whisper white cardstock here. And I'm using a sentiment from the Sweet Sayings stamp set. And I'm using the Forever Begins today. Because I thought I I made this thinking of a new baby, um, so that's why I've used this sentiment. So basic black ink onto some nice shimmering white cardstock. die cut the sentiment and you want some basic black cardstock as well um, so that we can oh, die cut a slightly larger matte layer for that sentiment and I'm using the tags and labels frame lips dies I'm going to go for a square square and like a, a ticket type of shape that's quite big ones and there is a little hole, hole um, die in there and then you've got as say ticket label type things those away and I'm going to die cut a sentiment moved it's moved right <laughs> let's redo my stamp would really help if I can do a bit of fast forwarding wouldn't it I'll let that dry for a moment and I'll do the larger one black there we go and a small 
longer one for my sentiment. Fingers crossed it doesn't move this time. That would be useful. Sometimes you have to just repolarize your magnetic platform. I find if I use it a lot, all of a sudden it starts going wonky and you just have to move it around. Because the plate is made from lots of tiny little um, magnets. We've only got to catch it where one is a little bit out of polarisation and um, it plays up. Right, let's die cut that one absolutely fine this time. So that's that and that. Right, the shop can go back down. And we are just about finished, ladies. Put my dies away. stamping dimensionals go in a diagonal line because we're going to be offsetting this. We go one, two and three. And you're just going to offset that on top there and then pop couple more dimensionals on the back there slot your sentiment in just so and there is your finished box ready for you to decorate however you want so sorry it's been a long one today and um, hope you've enjoyed it anyway and um, I will see you again tomorrow with another project. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget all my social media information is in the show more section below. If you follow my Pinterest board and I can see you have an interest in paper craft, I'll send you an invitation to start pinning on my board and then you can decide whether you want to accept that invitation or not. Um, otherwise, leave comments in the comments section below or on my blog the full tutorial with all of the dimensions will be on my blog post and there will be a link directly from my video today to today's blog post so you can just then print everything off um, from the computer so thank you very much for watching and um, enjoy my little slip ups and uh, I'll see you again tomorrow for another project. Thanks for watching. Bye.